Lisa, I realize I spend a lot of time and energy caring for others, but not myself. All right, so caring for others. Sometimes this is something that, that happens uh, suddenly and it's, it's necessary to put yourself on the back burner. I mean, I've, ha I've had this experience where like, you know, in five minutes, my whole life changed and I needed to care for somebody for one year. I didn't even go for a walk. I didn't even have time to go for a walk. So uh, until you can pull it together, right? So until you can get some help, or you get some resources or something like this. There's another, so that's, that's one version of it. And uh, when that happens, you take, you take, you know, a week or so uh, and get things lined up. And one of the first things that you need to do when you're caring for others in that way, where you're like a caregiver, is you really do, you really do need to consider yourself first. Because if you're not in good shape, you're not gonna be in good enough shape to take care of the other people. And this includes whether you're taking care of aging parents, whether you're taking care of young children. You know, uh, it's very important. So I can remember when that happened to me, I did two things, actually I did three things. The very first thing I did was I called a massage therapist and I scheduled a home in-home massage for myself one day a week, every single week for like two months. Yeah, I, I, I have some cash flow to do that. Um, if I didn't, I would probably have done uh, one hour of yoga uh, or, or a combination of walking meditation or something like that. But you know, in that case, I could feel all the stress and tension was along my spine and I was like in physical pain from being tense and, all the time, you know. So, because uh, I didn't have time to even go for a walk. Normally I would walk that off. Um, the other is I decided I would not have anything that would alter my mind or emotions in any way. No alcohol, no, I did not even an aspirin, nothing. My body was just going to be my temple so I could see and feel everything very clearly and not to anesthetize myself in any way, shape or form. And I didn't, I did that. I don't think I had, I don't think I had, I don't even think I had a glass of wine for like a year. Um, and the other was to sleep. And that was really hard when you're caring a lot for other people, particularly if you have young children at home or if you're caring for someone who needs attention all the time. Is, but, you, but you have to schedule sleep. Even if you can schedule somebody to come in uh, in a shift or something like this, which is eventually what I had to do. Uh, however it is that you do it, but you have to be able to sleep. So self-care is really important. At the very basic minimum, if I had to do over again, I would have made sure I took an hour walk every day. And that hour walk didn't cost anything unless I had to have somebody come in you know, to help because it was that kind of a situation. Uh, but it, it's a great way to, to meditate while you're doing it, to burn off some energy, to get some uh, stress relief, to change your environment, uh, to move your own body so you have oxygen and blood and things flowing, okay? So it's really important if you are caring for others that you prioritize caring for yourself. Uh, I know what that is like. I know I've done it both ways where I didn't care for myself, and then I've done it where I cared for myself. When I'm caring for yourself, it was way better. So put, make that a priority, even if it's something small. And if you have the resources that you can make it uh, where somebody else is coming in to help you while you uh, take care of yourself, that's even better.